There's like an acceleration that takes place inward. I love the rhythm of boxing. But then there's moments that only come around once or twice in the fight where you gotta dig. You gotta dig so deep within your soul and you gotta pull it out somehow. Not everybody can do that. Because a lot of people are afraid to reflect on who they really are. My name is Isaac Mitchell. I'm from the streets originally. I'm a kid from the projects. And when I went into boxing, there were people who told me I couldn't do it. You're too intellectual. You're too gentle. You gotta be hard. You gotta be rugged. The sweetest victory was when I actually won the national title. And that's when I got the phone call that Hank passed away. One of the greatest trainers that ever come out of Canada. I lost my friend, and I took that as a sign that it was time to hang up the gloves. I felt this actual supernatural strength. I got this fire that came back in my eyes. I felt stronger than I did when I left. What kind of prospect you got? I got this, this, one, this one old guy, Isaac. <laughs> He's making to come back. This is news to him. If he wants to try it, you'll know the first fight out. You can't be a champion if you don't lose. You got to lose to learn how to be a champion. There's different titles. There's a national title. The ultimate, obviously, is a world championship. This is going to be impossible. That thought may cross my mind. When it comes to a purpose that's greater than yourself, you gotta follow the lead. Sometimes we don't figure everything out. The perfect timing is the perfect timing. We have to allow the process to take place, just letting it happen naturally or supernaturally.